Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So I waited for this for like five days. It just arrived today. And let's open it up and let's see what's inside. So I just got the flaps open and I'm eager to open this. And I'm going to show you what I got. So this was what's in the box. These are old teddy bears. And the one on the left is a 1930s early Knickerbocker American teddy bear. And you can see he's really cute. He's like a brown teddy bear. This little guy here is a Herman 1950s Zadi style bear. The one in the center is my first Japanese teddy bear. And it was probably made sometime in the 1940s, just after World War II, to the very, very early 1950s. And you can see the uh, airbrushing technique on the foot pads. And it's to give him like little paws and like little imprints of paw pads. And then he has a, like what looks like a little tongue. He has plastic amber eyes and he's fully jointed. And uh, last but not least, we have a 1950s Stife teddy bear. And I believe this is a US zone one, although it doesn't have any buttons or tags. It looks like an early one. And actually, let me pick him up. He is a little threadbare, but that's okay. He has some uh, mohair wear. And look how cute he is. He's a caramel bear, and he's a little guy. He's uh, fully jointed, he has little brown glass eyes, and he has a little brown stitch nose and mouth. And he, you know, he has some mohair loss, but that's okay. I don't mind it too much, because it means the bear was once loved. He has very long paws, so he, that's showing me that he's an earlier Stife Teddy original. And the original teddy bear was first created, I believe, in about 1950. And it was just after World War II that this bear design was created by Stife. And actually, there were earlier versions of this in the late 40s. And that's why I think he's a U.S. zone one that was made in Germany when US, uh, the U.S. occupied a certain part of Germany. So he may be earlier than 1950. He could be a 1949 U.S. zone bear. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I had to put them on this little plastic thing because the ground is pretty wet and muddy because it's very, very uh, warm out here, even though it's February here on Long Island. And as you can see, these are my four teddy bears that I got from one seller on eBay. And that was a great auction. I waited all week for it to end. And I was, like, gritting my teeth because I was afraid it was going to go for a big box. And it really didn't. I got it for a bargain. So we got the, again, the 1930s Knickerbocker teddy bear. He has glass eyes. He's fully jointed. And this little cutie pie over here, which is another German bear that's a, like a Steiff Zadi knockoff. And then again, we got our Japanese bear. And then we got our little Steiff bear. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And stay tuned in because I'll be uploading more videos soon showing antique toys and teddy bears and dolls and all sorts of interesting things. Take care.